Welcome back. 644 now on Daybreak, and we're celebrating Western New York. It is February, which means we are now just about two weeks away from Valentine's Day. All right, and Western New York is no stranger to sweet treats. Lots of local places making great chocolate, and Kevin O'Neill takes us to three of them. Locally owned chocolate shops getting ready for the big day. Woohoo! First show in February, and I'm planting the idea in your head now to buy your Valentine's Day sweets from your local mom and pop candy shop. If it's a gift, don't buy your chocolates where you buy your mayonnaise. And I'm highlighting three different chocolatiers in three different counties. In Tonawanda, we go behind the scenes at the production facility for Watson's Chocolates. Among the chocolate waterfalls and sponge candy, this time of year you see thousands of Valentine's Day items being prepared. For example, Watson's will sell about 1,400 of these personalized hearts. Eight locations for Watson's, and more important than that number is the number of people you support by buying from them. Probably about 80 employees from all over the Western New York area uh, and a lot of them who've been with us for a very long time. That's Whitney Watson Beecher, owner. Her grandma started the biz in 1946 with her sister-in-law and the respective husbands, brothers Lewis and John Watson. In Genesee County, Oliver's Candies dates back to 1932 at the same location in central Batavia. The proverbial preparations are underway for the seasonal rush. Valentine's Day shoppers are notoriously last minute. I love this, a heart-shaped tray of sponge candy, and afterwards you can eat the platter it came on. And speaking of platters, in Niagara County, we visit Platters Chocolates. Founded in 1938 by Carl and Vera Platter, their wonderful shop in the Wurlitzer building, features a cafe and lots of windows inside to peek into the Willy Wonka-like manufacturing facility. Of course, hearts are everywhere inside the store. They are famous for orange chocolate. Of course, they have milk and dark chocolate. And this just in, dark orange chocolate. All right, I will check that out. So my thanks to Platters and Oliver's and Watson's for sharing this segment and representing Western New York's multi-generational chocolate shops. You know, we see that in our customers too, who come in and tell us stories about how their grandparents bought them this and now they're buying it for their kids and it's mm -hmm. just wonderful. Celebrating Western New York, I'm Kevin O'Neill, Channel 2 News.